time for 28mm World War II action. Will you recreate history or reshape it your way? On the Bolt Action Hub at beastsofwar.com. Twisted aliens and demented cultists battle across the devastating science fiction world of Dark Age. Muster your forces and learn to survive at beastsofwar.com. Hey gang, this is Dallas from Privateer Press and we're still hanging out here at the Beast of War paint studio. And today we're gonna to be covering painting Elf Flesh for our Iozen uh, Magister Ron here. And um, let's get started. So for our base coat, we're gonna take a little bit of Rin Flesh and some Manoth White Base. And what this does is make a nice creamy skin tone that is light and perfect for Elf or your elvish or your flesh you want. A little rin. And just add a little water to loosen it, not really thinning it down too much, just loosening up the paint. A little more rin in that's a little too yellow. This is, this creates a nice, pretty skin tone. I really enjoy it. But we're gonna make a super batch of this. What's gonna happen is over the course of this, we're going to need to paint two shades in a highlight and it's going to be created out of this base color. So we're going to need a load of this mixed up. Sometimes if I have an old paint pot laying around, you know, old coal black because I burned through coal black a lot. I'll take and uh, mix up a batch of this to have on hand. This doesn't have to be precise. You can kind of eyeball it and see what you think looks the best. Kind of where you want your elf tones at. Sounds like a band, the elf tones. And we're just going to take a brush and begin base coat. I'm just going to dip it in there, give it a little twist, and get going. So I'm just a nice, even coat. Want it thin. Don't want to clog up any details. And I'd rather do two thin coats than one heavy coat, of course. Take your time. Be precise. Use just the tip of the brush. Not in a hurry. This is the face. You hurry on your dry brushing, not your faces. It's a little tricky to see, sorry about that. Just working around this back side, trying to stay off the collar as much as possible. No big deal if we get on the collar because we're going to paint over that anyways. I'm going to tip him up, get up in those eye sockets. Once you get a nice, smooth, Base coat on and get ready to move on to our shade. First shade, our pre shade. What this one, what this shade will do is establish some color in that skin tone. Right now it's very neutral. All right, for our first shade, we're going to take some sanguine base and add it to our base coat and a little drop of mixing medium for translucency. We're gonna pull some of our base coat. Grab some sanguine base. Mix that in. Couple drops, mix medium. Yeah, one will do. We just want a nice, nice red color to put into our skin tone. And I'm just gonna blend this up into the uh, deep recesses of the skin, the eyes, around the brow, cheekbones, mouth, the ears, places such as that. You don't wanna shadow the upper lip, but I want to put some on the bottom of that nose and the cheeks. 
and the ears, around the ears. So I'm barely touch that with my blend brush. Brow, a little bit more than that. There we go. Side of the head. And this eye. A little tricky to get to. But by just using the point, it's not that bad. And the back of his noggin. There we go. Little red skin tone in there. And now to balance that out, we're gonna make a green skin tone. And go right over the top of that. For this, we'll be using Battle Just Green, Mixing Medium, and back to that base coat mixed together. And some Mixing Medium. Drop that. And back to our base coat. Pull some of that in. Make a nice green color. What happens by this being translucent over top of the red, it balances it out and gives it a nice natural shade. Once again, I'm just gonna quickly blend it over the shadow on that brow. And of course the eye sockets. Ears, around the ears. Cheekbones, the sunken parts of the cheeks, mouth, chin, this is just starting to balance out that red, looks way more natural now, quickly becoming apparent that this guy is an elf. It's looking pretty good to me. But now we need to refine his features. And to do so, we're gonna make a final shade with Sanguine Base and Bow Dress Green mixed together straight. And this will give us a nice rich brown to just define his facial features, such as his brow ridge and his mouth. So we take our Battle Dress Green and Sanguine Base, give that a mix up. You want a nice rich brown color. You don't want it too green, don't want it too red. You're going for brown. A little too green. Just look at it, kind of get a feel for what you want. That seems pretty good. I like that color there. I'm just going to paint this into the deep recesses of his face, just to define it. Um, and if I mess up, I'll use my second brush to pull any, whisk any paint away. So get some paint on my brush, give it a twist, nice point. Get the flow of the paint so it's not overloaded. And just paint inside the ear to define it. And under the eyebrows, brow ridge, and his mouth. A little heavy handed there. Let's clean that up. Nails our eye. We're going to put a little separation line between the ear and the head. Just make sure you got a good point. Draw your line. A 
and around the back of the head, which can get cleaned up later once you go to paint the armor. Now this guy has a scar on his face, so I'm going to go ahead and add some color to that. I'm just going to kind of paint around it. All right, the face is starting to become defined now. Okay, we're gonna go with two highlights to further bring up the face. And for the first one, we will be taking the base color and adding Minoth White Highlight. So, take some Minoth White Highlight. And add some of your base color. Make a nice light skin tone you want it right in between the skin and Minoth white highlight if you need a reference go ahead and grab some Minoth white highlight put it in your other well so you can kind of see all three just want to go for something kind of in the middle there There we go, looks pretty good. And we're just gonna use this highlight to pick out the brows and the ear tips, a little bit on his head, the nose, the general places where you wanna highlight on a face. So first the ears, right up over the top, the nose. And the brow. I'm just barely touching it with my brush. Make sure I got a good point here. And cheekbone, you can touch the edge of that with your Blend brush to smooth out the edges. Just take your time and to redefine the shape. And I'm going to go ahead and pick out that scar with the edge of my brush. Now, top of the head can be tricky. Just going to choose where the highlight is. Do a quick blend. Just kind of working in a circle around. Like so. Now that's out of the way, we can move on to our final highlight. And for this, it's just pure Minoth White highlight. 
and we're just going to pick out those ultra edges, the tips of the ears, the tips of the brow, maybe a little bit on the nose. So very quick, some middle of the white highlight there. Maybe on that brow. That ear. And his nose. Maybe a dot on the cheek. And pick that square. Now we got a little bit on that shadow of the scar, so I'm going to redefine that shadow just to give it a true line. Like so. Now his eyes are pretty dark. I'm going to go ahead and paint his eyes in with a little mid-off white highlight. Don't like using pure Mara white or pure white. It looks too unnatural and too... Uh, it looks too extreme. With Minoth White Highlight, it's a nice warm white, and so the eye looks more natural. So, I'm going to get him in a position that works best for the angle of the paintbrush. I'm going to take a deep breath and breathe out as I paint the eye. And I'm just barely using the tip of my brush. This one's tricky. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're just going to give the impression of an eye back in that back part of the face. Put it up against the armor, so. There we go. Now finally for our skin tone, I'm going to take that scar and I'm going to accentuate it. And for this, I'm just going to take a little drop of red ink, add some water to it, and glaze it over it just to make it look more like a scar. So, a little red ink, just a drop. And some water. Just make a real thin glaze. Get as much as you can off the brush, just enough to accentuate the scar. Give that a little glaze. If it puddles up, just whisk it away with your second brush. Maybe down around his cheek a little. Just to show the red roughness of that scar. And you can take your base color if you want. Touch a little highlight on the outside of that, like so. Let's go ahead and take some black. Black out the armor so we can see him better. And there you have it. Elf skin tones for your Retribution Force, or any army you're working on. My name is Dallas from Privateer Press. Thanks for watching. Remember, follow the links below, and as always, happy painting. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now, and be sure to check out beastsofwar.com for the latest gaming news and gaming let's plays. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe, and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.